a weather phenomenon we're looking at all things considered strange now take a look at this one something washed up on the coast are we looking at some kind of mega creature something unknown a huge crab leg if we're looking at this and if this isn't some kind of hollywood prop i would have to estimate if this crab was a full scale it would have to be about 12 feet at least in uh in length here brenton your thoughts on this prank or the real deal well it looks like it's been in the ocean for quite some time it's snowing the environment's pretty harsh did somebody just put this out there to uh, for some lone person to find it on the beach hard telling again if this is indeed real it's something huge and it like you said it'd be about 10 to 12 feet wow more videos best of november we're just getting started check this out surveillance video captures the anomaly what are we looking at and these door cams these surveillance cameras they're capturing the phenomena bro what do you make of this Yeah, this one's a pretty interesting one. This came across our table just about a week ago, and now we're sharing it with you. It's a door cam video that captures a phenomenon. We don't quite know what it is, but we're gonna be slowing this down, getting a couple frames of it, even giving it a fast forward just to see its kind of course that it takes. But here's a still we're looking at right here. It seems like it has this plasmic shield around this kind of mass of darkness with a point of light in front of this. What is this? You know, as we look at it closer, I'm trying to make out exactly what this possibly could be. And I don't have an explanation for you. That's why we're sharing it with you. If I'm going to speculate, this could be some kind of atmospheric disturbance, some weather phenomenon. But right now, it is extraordinary what we're looking at. Could this be some kind of unknown biological being that's being captured? I'm not exactly sure. But again, as you stated, Brent, you see this beam of light heading in front of this cloud this dark cloud dude i'm wondering if this could be even paranormal i don't know yeah it's interesting you can see it kind of take a bank left to right then do this kind of awkward trajectory to the right uh, interesting flight path again it's hard to tell could this be something on the lens i don't think so i think it's actually something off in the distance it's a good capture if this is a ufo it's one of the weird ones because it doesn't really look like a craft it like you said it almost looks biological you know when i'm looking at these things and when you can't explain it that's the mystery behind what we do here at third phase moon bringing you the evidence as it comes in and once again is this something paranormal et in nature or possibly some cgi going on i'm deeming this legitimate video i'm pretty much saying that this is the real thing the question is what are we looking at now we've got more videos coming into third phase of moon so we wanted to share them with you right away give us a big thumbs up if you're enjoying this live premiere now watch this A massive acorn shaped craft metallic it seems on its sheen we're not exactly sure what this is but I can tell you it's massive this thing is, is at least 40 to maybe 60 feet in height maybe about 40 feet in length here yeah notice like the lights as you see it they're kind of they twinkle in and out those top two right at the 12 o'clock position here's a kind of a contrast making this thing pop a little bigger this thing has nodules on the side and maybe even one at the bottom uh, this is a pretty good capture now we got a still right here three lights right at the 12 o'clock position like you said like this thing is massive it kind of does have this metallic look to it and these things are being seen all over the world here's another example of a similar flight path and similar structure again another one yeah, I, I'm digging these videos that we have the archive coming in from around the world over the years. And it's nice to compare uh, some of these craft that have been spotted in different regions across the planet. But uh, once again, are we looking at some kind of hot air balloon? I'm not seeing any gondola underneath this or any kind of uh, roping. This is a, a big, large craft. And it again, seems that it has this metallic sheen and it's stabilized uh, flight formation 
gives me reason that this is something that has some weight to it. It's not lighter than air. This thing has actually seemingly defined the laws of physics at this point. Yeah, look at this one, Blake. It kind of looks like a, a top. Could there be maybe a, a gyro and they're keeping this thing stable, some sort of a propulsion technology? Here's another one, side-by-side -side comparisons. They are a little different, but again, uh, the flight characteristics, the odd shape about them, uh, this is good stuff. I like it. Absolutely. Uh, guys, are you ready for more UFO videos? We got them. Let's roll the next one right now. Buckle up. Por fin, Dios mío, se me, se me, se me cumplió el deseo. Esos, esos son de los buenos. Mm. Right, this sighting coming out of Mexico is really amazing, and I like it when you see animals, dogs, react to the phenomenon. It gives you indication that there's something out there, something strange. You look at the dog, it's looking at its owner, tilting its head. It's like, are you okay? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? This is uh, crazy stuff, but besides the dog and the human interaction with the phenomenon uh, we're getting a closer look i'm doing the side by side comparison i've added a little bit of brightness contrast to the one to the right uh, got a little closer and what we're looking at is some kind of craft just levitating there stationary in the sky displaying uh, this w weird luminosity this blue uh, light that's coming off of this and Again, I'm not seeing any indication that this is a drone, nor do we hear it, any indication that it's a drone. This thing is dead silent. Yeah, you can see it changed colors there a little bit as this these lights undulate. Yeah, maybe animals do have a sixth sense when it comes to the paranormal. You can see it take a look right there again. Uh, the animal seems fascinated by what's going on up there. Again, these lights just seem to twinkle. There doesn't seem to be any means of propulsion. They kind of just kind of fade in and out. Again, this does not look like a conventional drone to me and the person on the ground doesn't think so as well. That's why he uploaded it. Again, the animal there, the dog, he's a really good dog too because he's seen something and he, he's aware that something's out there, maybe even looking at them. Yeah, not exactly sure uh, what we're looking at, but again, it is uh, very strange and obviously animals pick up on the this they have this kind of sixth sense in my opinion uh knowing that the paranormal or the abnormal or the phenomenon is close in close proximity so what are we looking at ufos traversing behind buildings and somebody who captured an et in his backyard in peru watch this
we're looking at a photograph and there are a couple that have come into third phase of moon the information regards to this is still very sparse so we're just sharing you the evidence but we're going to speculate on what we're looking at here are we looking at something interdimensional look at this we've got apollo asteria and my brother brent and we're going to break it down right now apollo your first thoughts well, since the location of this is in Peru, I it really makes me wonder, you know, I'm not sure if this is from a door light or if someone captured a photo of this, but it looks like someone landing with a jetpack. Like there's like smoke or something behind him. He seems to be kind of like lit up. I don't know. I, I just, my mind immediately goes to the jetpack phenomena that's happening in Peru right now. A lot of people are saying that there's been sightings of them there and it's been um, happening quite a bit, so that's where my mind goes when I see this kind of interesting right yeah what I like about this is that we have two photos again we could speculate what we're seeing here you can see this uh, kind of like a triple exposure on the lens as this thing's moving some people might say it's like dematerializing I'm not I'm not throwing it all out there that this is a case it could just be maybe somebody highlighted with some silver costume creating this uh, figure capturing the attention maybe uh, backpacking the phenomenon of what's happening with the jetpack man over there in Peru hard telling but it is interesting we see the guy walking through the forest right here and it's, it's it, it captures your attention words what's the provenance behind this we need to know more what do you think Blake you know I'm looking at this and I'm just thinking to myself it could be easily fake but uh, right now it'd be up to somebody that would want to purport uh, some kind of major hoax apparently the guy that released this seems that he's very genuine so if we got to take it for what it is we've got the evidence we've got photographic video evidence and i can't see any manipulation so if we're looking at something that uh, is actually paranormal or some kind of et um, intervention or some kind of cross experience going on right here and if this is the smoking gun, I'm not saying it is, but it's interesting. That's why we're sharing it with you. If anybody's seen anything in this uh, area of Peru, let us know. Captured from an unknown location, we're trying to get the coordinates, but we're looking at the video. Something traverses behind this building. We're looking at it. It's something quite large. In my opinion, it's not a conventional drone. I'm not seeing any indication of that. We're looking at something that's quite large in the sky with no means of propulsion. Uh, guys, what do you think of this? Apollo? You know, my thoughts on this when I see this, it, it seems like it has some sort of light under it that may be used to like power it. And I know uh, plasma technology, it can be lit up with kind of a bluish light when it's being used to power devices. So it makes me curious and, you know, I kind of wonder if maybe it's something that is using some sort of plasma technology that hasn't really been released yet. Um, so that's kind of my thoughts when I see this. So we got aliens and we also have uh, these craft just uh, in people's backyards in major cities. Brent, what do you make of this? The size of this as it traverses behind this building. I'm not seeing any CGI here. What caught my eye was right when I first saw this, before it kind of went behind that building, I thought it maybe could have been maybe some sort of holo holographic projection because you can kind of see it. It's translucent and it's uh, beaming off light. What's keeping this up in the sky? What kind of craft is it? Could it be maybe a balloon highlighted with some new uh, technology underneath, some new uh, beams of light, LEDs? I'm not sure, but it shows scale when it goes behind the building. And this is a good close up right here. Again, it kind of, it's a classic flying saucer. What people see, it reminds me of even Gulf Breeze back in the early 80s. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of what I was thinking, Brent. But you can kind of see it uh, rotating from left to right. But then we have these daylight sightings across uh, South America as well of the same object, in my opinion. And again, we're receiving these on a weekly basis. They, they continue uh, to drop uh, to social media these anomalous uh, daylight sightings of these ac acorn-shaped, diamond-shaped UFOs. Why aren't we seeing this in, uh, in America? Your thoughts on that?
You know, my thoughts on this are, I think it's really interesting that these are so common and it seems to be from this certain area in the world, like South America or Mexico. I think it's where I usually see these videos coming from of this sort of top shaped craft. Um, so I, th I think it's really interesting that, you know, there's so many of them. Like, does that mean that, you know, this certain area of the world is getting visited frequently from somewhere or it has someone in this area invented some sort of device and they're testing it out all the time. Um, so that's my thoughts. Brent? What I like about it, you see it right there next to that communication tower, maybe a power line tower. Are these guys uh, trying to get close to it to capture energy? Who knows? Again, we see some good close ups of these things and you could almost see it rotate. You, there's some clarity to these videos, especially this one right here. It's a little sharper. We got some contrast, but then we, when we go to the other one that's coming up here, but right there, you see a good close up right next to that tower, 5G tower. Who knows what's going on here? Yeah, good question. Probably we can't talk about some of that stuff here on this platform, but obviously we're sharing with you the video evidence and we're asking you the people, uh, what's your thoughts? Because we're not here to give you the exact answer we're sharing with you the footage that we can explain and right now we're looking at something that is the typical disc shaped object that kind of bob lazar stated it has this undulation uh, the characteristics of um, some weird manipulation uh, the propulsion behind this is it something et in nature or is it some something that seemingly defies the laws of physics that we're not seeing anybody piloting these things or any kind of means of propulsion of blades or rotors and they seem to be moving around in an intelligent way that's what kind of gets me and again no manipulation do you believe uh, right now we're looking at something authentic and they're harnessing like energy from these towers Brent hard telling I'm not gonna throw that all out there it's speculation but again what I'm seeing here I think this is legit there's no CGI going on this is captured within camera and somebody saw something that caught their eye and that this is what third phase of moon is all about looking at this and dissecting it hey thanks for joining us everybody leave a comment thumbs up we got a lot more UFO videos coming up yeah as we're looking at this once again Apollo we're gonna get a closer look do you do you see any means of any kind of propulsion here? And if somebody going to make a hoax, I'm not seeing why they do this. We're only getting this one report from this one individual. We're looking at this video.
watch. So we're about 30,000 feet aboard a commercial airliner and one of the passengers looked